that anytime you overreact or really react to things that people are doing, uh, crazy driving, things like that, it's because it's a signal to you, hey, must be disconnected right now. Time to wake up to who you really are. Time to reconnect, take a break, take a nap, go eat something delicious, do something fun, laugh, do something that plugs you in, and then you can show up and truly forgive. What is the best way to forgive someone? Okay, really great question. The best way to forgive someone, to, to actually truly forgive someone is to be connected first. So when you realize that whatever it is you would have to forgive or could see yourself as needing to forgive is happening outside of you. So where's that happening? In the crazy maze. So if you're connected to who you truly are first, then you've already got one door into heaven and you're already feeling a sense of joy and peace and love and connectivity, no matter what's going on outside. So imagine what it's like, well, I'll give you an example. Um, a three-year-old comes with their crayon and writes all over the newly painted wall. And the mother hasn't slept because she has a newborn. She hasn't slept in a couple of days and she's like exhausted and she needs, feels like she's fat and she needs to go on a diet. She has all these thoughts that she hasn't sorted out yet to realize they're only sticking in the crazy maze. And now she comes to the wall with the crayon all over it and she just ready to, to strangle her three-year-old. Now, someone who is completely connected and just took a shower and took a breath and had the, you know, you just uh, went outside and picked some flowers from the garden. Now you walk in and the wall has the crayon on it and you're connected. That's the difference between chaos and mayhem and peace, the connectivity. So notice that anytime you overreact or really react to things that people are doing, uh, crazy driving, things like that, it's because it's a signal to you, hey, must be disconnected right now. Time to wake up to who you really are. Time to reconnect, take a break, take a nap, go eat something delicious, do something fun, laugh. Do something that plugs you in and then you can show up and truly forgive because you'll realize that everyone's doing the best they can. And it makes you have a lot easier time of being human because if everybody's doing the best they can and those people are just disconnected at the time. And by the way, the three-year-old drawn with the crayon on the wall is pretty connected at the time, teaching you that everything is fun <laughs> and everything is a source of creativity. You know, we did that meditation early on in the beginning here about that chakra, the sacral energy. That's all our creative center. And feel how many people are having gut problems these days. Because when you're connected, guess what the other mantra is? I can create my way out of anything. When you are in the place that you've sorted it out and you've chosen to say, I'm going to sort out and only keep the joy, I'm going to do the joyful things, then you are connected and you're in that place where you're recognizing that this bright creative self, the great creator on the ray of the sun of the great creator on the creator on earth, creating divinely, that's what that three-year-old is trying to do. Make that wall better. That's a boring wall. So notice we can shift our perception in a way that forgiveness lets us see that there are multiple ways to see and do and experience things. And our one and only small myopic perspective might not be the only way. So we arrive more complete and more joyful to embrace a lot bigger picture of life. <laughs>